Hey guys, it's Core Ross and welcome to this Rainbow Six Siege video. Today we're looking at something that I've been wanting to make for a little bit and I had to wait for the replay system to come back on the test server so I could actually do it. So I'm sure you have been in a situation or if not, you've seen a clip of someone getting shot by an enemy that they could not see and they were like holding a pixel peek or something like that and I want to show how that actually happens. Now, I've gone and made up a couple of different examples here to kind of somewhat explain it hopefully and also show how you can potentially mitigate it with different positioning and better positioning this is this thing a lot of players position themselves really badly and i want to talk about that so let's start with this example mira has a nice little pixel peak going up to the stairs here now she thinks it's a nice pixel peak it's actually horrible but from her point of view this looks like a really nice pixel peak she can just see a little slither so she feels very safe but she should not. This is actually a horrible position to be in. As you can see, we have two bits of cover here, one on the left and one on the right. But the thing is, they're the wrong way round for the defender. Now, if the attacker comes and positions himself in the stairs, Mira can see them. So it seems like a good position, right? But let's take this from the attacker's point of view. The attacker's moving down the stairs and they can see the defender. We can see the head, we can see the knee, and at this point we can either try shooting her in the head, potentially hit her, but she does have that big helmet on, so it's not part of the hitbox. But we definitely could shoot her in the knee at this point. Now let's actually switch over and take a look at Mira's point of view. So you can see that she cannot see Zofia at all. Zofia in this case is not even close to actually being in the vision of Mira because she is badly placed. And this isn't a rendering issue in the game or anything like that. This is a local game where I was controlling both characters and then this is the replay afterwards and everyone is represented perfectly where they were in that game when I was setting it up. And this all comes down to angles, straight lines and distance. So we're going to break it down and show you hopefully how to improve positioning, but also show you the quirks of the game as well and the things that don't look right. Like we're going to we're going to break it right down. So let's actually move Zofia further down the stairs now to the point of where we can clearly see Mira's head and can easily headshot her at this point. Now, if you were in this Mira's position and you got shot and killed and watched this kill come back, you might think the game was cheating you here because she is clearly not showing up in your pixel peak. She is clearly still well into cover, even though Sophia can clearly see Mira, clearly headshot her. So what is actually going on here? How is this the case? Like, look at this. Sophia has to go so far over to actually even get close to showing up in Mira's point of view. It, it seems wrong, right? It doesn't work with how your brain is trying to calculate this. This just doesn't make sense, even though it's correct and you can see how extreme this bad positioning is because of how far Zofia actually has to go before she enters Mira's point of view. Now there's a bunch of different factors here like one thing is that the cover on our right hand side is our closest bit of cover and really it shouldn't be in this situation. It's also that we are way closer to it than Zofia is and that distance with the actual angle of attack makes a huge difference which we'll go into later in the video but these are some of the factors that are just terrible and will get you killed with bad placement. Now, when I actually play, I don't even think about any of this stuff because I don't really care. I don't care if I die and I just play for fun. So this stuff is not important to me, but I do see a lot of people raging about it and just not understanding that they're standing in the wrong place. And I want to hopefully make a video that educates some people to improve their game if this is something that annoys them. Like I say, I don't take these into consideration when I actually play but I know that they exist. Now let's mix this up. Let's change Mira's position to a position which I think most players would feel much more vulnerable actually taking up. And I don't recommend this position. I'm not showing you a, a perfect pixel peek or something. This is just showing how changing the cover changes stuff. So we've got Mira here. Now she is pretty much in the same position, but she is leaning right this time and she's using these two bits of cover instead of the big box on our right hand side. This means that we have this bit of cover on our left, but also the next bit of cover is actually where the attacker is going to appear as they come down the stairs. And this will dramatically change how we see the attacker enter the actual staircase, meaning we'll see them straight away. Now, both will see each other at exactly the same time. 
And of course, that puts Mira's survival rate in this kind of scenario at a far higher rate than it was in the last pixel peak because she would have definitely died because she just wouldn't have seen the attacker coming down the stairs. Now, that's the thing about pixel peaks. From a defender's point of view, when they're close to cover, looking through a pixel peak, it really looks like it's just a little pixel, you know, and you feel super safe. But from an attacker's point of view, who is far away from the cover you're behind, that can end up looking like a big barn door that they're looking through at you. And that is just because of angles and perspective and really makes a massive difference from each point of view. And it's hard to understand that when you see a kill cam, you're like, how did that person kill me? I didn't see them when they were standing right there in front of me. You know, it's infuriating and I can understand why people get really mad at it. So let's move on to the next stage here. We're going to do this where I have set up basically just a flat plane where Oryx is leaning and looking down towards us. And he's looking as, as you know, accurate as I could get to just along that plane at us. And I'm gonna try and position myself in the same position. Like I say, I'm actually controlling both characters here. But look at this, we're looking down the plane and obviously we can see Oryx's eye there. Now this is important because of course, a computer game is a single point of view that you're looking through the world at because you're looking at one monitor showing one point of view. So when your character in Siege is standing up, the point of view is right in the middle of the head. Whereas when they actually lean, their character model leans, but also the camera moves as well and actually positions itself roughly where the eye should be. Now, I say roughly because Every operator is different, their cosmetics are different, their eye spacing is different, they have different faces. Even the eye's height can change from cosmetic to cosmetic. So a lot can change there, even the depth as well actually. There's a lot of factors, which means the camera position is never perfect, it's never in the eye itself, but it's as close as developers can get and also it has to be balanced. It can't be you know, leaning too far out. So if that was the case, you wouldn't even need pixel peaks because you could quite literally just take cover behind anything and just have a slither of yourself showing if the camera was too far out. So it has to be somewhat in relation with reality where it's you know roughly where the eye should be, but it's definitely not perfect, which I'll be showing in the next scenario. But for this one, I wanted to show how, first of all, the eye does actually move over when you lean and it's like I say, roughly where the eye should be. I think on Oryx here, it's probably a little bit inset on his head. Although the thing is it could actually be a little bit further back in his head as well. And the reasons for stuff like that could be that if a character tries to push up against a wall, their camera doesn't actually clip through the surface and look through a wall and stuff like that. I also wanna take the time to show how leaning is super important and also leaning the correct way is super important because when you are playing your character and you've of course got your point of view, you literally see the camera kind of move over, that's it. You don't get a sense of how the body is moving. And if you're standing up straight, so obviously the camera is in the center of your head, which means if you try to peek Oryx here while standing straight up, he's gonna see half of your body and half of your head before you actually see him. Also, if you're leaning the wrong way, of course, he's gonna see most of your body and a good chunk of your head before you see him. And this also shows why wiggling back and forward and stuff like that with the lean keys can be advantageous. You're moving not just your head, but your body as well. So the weird thing is, of course, if you're up against an accurate player, that might work really well. And if you're up against an inaccurate player, that might actually get you killed. So hopefully this gives you a better idea of body position, camera position, how leaning can make major differences to how your body is presenting to the enemy, and just overall how it kind of works. And now we're gonna move on to the final example, which I hope is actually gonna blow your mind because when I first set this up and did it, I was shocked at how good of an example I thought it ended up being. And hopefully, you guys are gonna get the same shock as well. And we'll also see how many people in the comments say that this isn't a surprise, because I'm curious of how many people know this, first of all, and also did they get taught it by someone, or is it something they just learned with gameplay, or right away they just figured it out straight from the start when they first tried playing Siege, or other games with similar gun mechanics like CSGO. So this is it, we've got Mira here looking through a corridor. There's two pieces of cover, this doorway and then the second doorway. And the idea here is that, of course, the attacker is entering the front door, they're peeking this corridor. So let's just, first of all, peek until we can actually see Mira. 
Now, I'm pretty sure your brains are going, yeah, when we can see her, she can see us. That's how it should work. And if we flip back and forward, that's perfect. We both see pretty much exactly the same amount as each other. And this makes perfect sense. Like this works in your brain and it's like, yeah, this makes total sense. There's not really a surprise here. But what we're going to do is we're going to change this a little bit. So first of all, I'm going to change my positioning. I'm going to make it so that I can only see her arm and a little bit off the helmet. And if we switch back to Mira, that's also what she can see off us. She can see the arm and a little bit of her head. Now, I'm going to reposition. I'm going to take one step forward and I'm going to be in front of that cover now. And again, I can see Mira's arm. I can see a little bit of her helmet. So if we switch over to Mira's point of view, she can't see us. Not even close. We are way in cover right now. There's no way Mira is going to be able to see us, but we can clearly see her. And this is because that bit of cover is far away from us and it's close to her. That is making such a massive difference. And we can push so far out that we get to the point where this breaks reality. Like if we were doing this in real life, we wouldn't be able to do what we're about to do next, which is when I push out so far that I'm actually able to see Mira's eye. And of course, like imagine if you got a kill cam where you could literally see the eye of your character be shot. That would be like, the game's cheating me here. Like I should be able to see that person because of course, that's their freaking eye. If we were to recreate this in a corridor in real life, of course, if I moved out far enough to see that person's eye, they'd also be able to see me because that is our points of view. But in a computer game, the eyes are not the point of view. It is the camera, which is a virtual item. And as such, it will never be perfectly lined up with the eyes of characters. So that's why it, you know, it doesn't look right. And this is also the thing. I am deliberately using Kali here and her large scope so that we can actually see these details. If you're using a 2X or a 1X, you ain't going to see this. You're not going to see that much detail to actually pick out if you're seeing the eye. And of course, the action goes by so quickly that again, you're not actually going to see this in normal gameplay unless potentially it's Kali taking our time. And then if I push out just probably, if we're talking about a circle here, this is probably less than half a degree I am moving in order for Mira to now see me. And also, I've kind of pushed out a little bit too far, to be honest. I was trying to be exact, but I pushed out just a touch too far where Mira actually sees half of my head as Kali. And that didn't need to push out that far, really. But it is like, you're, this is the thing. With me trying to just nudge that character ever so slightly, it is such small inputs that it was hard to actually get these characters perfectly positioned for this. And this is the thing, we are talking about such small amounts. If you look at Callie's position, for instance, here, she has moved to the left about the width of her foot, which is not much at all. That is the difference between Mira seeing her and Mira not seeing her, but Callie continued to see her the entire time. That is how kind of small increments we could be talking about. And that is because the more distance there is, the bigger that angle becomes. You might be looking through a pixel peak when you're standing next to it, but far away, it might look like a barn door that you're actually looking through. And this is kind of a passive ability of attackers and just naturally plays into the gameplay of Siege because if you think about it, most of the time defenders will be in close neck to cover. They will have SMGs with high fire rates. So they are better in close range. That's usually how they're set up. Now, of course, you can go spawn peeking and stuff like that. But usually, even when you spawn peek, you're usually relatively close to cover. The attackers are much more likely to be further away from cover. They have better ranged weapons. So a lot of the time, players will hang back a little bit further than they would with defenders. As such, you end up with this kind of passive ability where attackers will usually end up in the position of being able to see defenders when they can't see them. And the other thing about Siege players, and this is something I've noticed in just the years of playing Siege, is that people will rage tremendously and go post clips on Reddit or Twitter, and they'll be like, look at this, I was standing perfectly still holding this pixel peak and being a perfectly easy to hit target, and I died. I'm so furious that I died while being this perfectly stationary target. And this is the thing. That's the thing about Siege players that I don't think other games really have. And it's just the fact 
that we love standing still, being perfect targets, and then going, what the hell, how did I just die? But maybe now that you've watched this video, this will potentially help you understand how this kind of stuff can happen. And the thing is, it's not a bug, it's not an issue, it is just really how things work. Like, this is also how things work in real life. We have two points of view, we have two eyes, and as such, when we are taking cover behind something in reality, we do show the sides of our heads to the enemy. But the difference here is, in a computer game, the camera is not perfectly positioned with the eye, so I can see a character's eye in this game, and as such, it would totally look wrong when you get a kill cam of being shot in the eye when you couldn't see the enemy. Now there's also a few other things I should tag into this video that I have gone over in previous videos but they're important to this subject so the mechanics of how Siege works it's very much like stuff like CSGO where your viewpoint is in your head and your bullets also come from your viewpoint so your head so when you fire your gun bullets are coming out of your head now of course there's not actual rendered bullets it's all hit scan but that's the point where they actually come out and go off and hit something. Now in other games that are more long range like PUBG, you actually have your viewpoint, but then the actual barrel of the gun is where the bullets come out of. So you probably played some PUBG where you've been in a close combat fight and shot a window frame instead of actually shooting at the enemy. Now there's good videos out there for different explanations of it. Like CSGO has been around for a long time, so you can go watch perspective videos on CSGO and I'll explain a lot of good stuff that is relevant to Siege because it uses the same mechanic. But also, there's some great videos out there for PUBG because there, there was a point where pros were really annoyed with PUBG when they got into close combat fights. And now I mean point blank. They would literally be point blank with the enemy. They'd be aiming for their head and be shooting them, but nothing was happening. The enemy weren't getting hit. And that's because the barrel of the gun was under their chin and actually firing the bullets out the other side and away and not actually hitting anything because of those different mechanics. And there's no way to make it perfect. There is no simple way to make it absolutely perfect. Now maybe in the future when everyone has VR and we can do first person VR, then perhaps we can actually get rid of this issue because we can actually have the eyes correctly positioned for the point of view of the VR user. But right now we have a limit of just one monitor looking at what we're looking at and that's it. We have a single point of view, which means that camera has to move. It has to be standardized for every character, even if they have different eye space on the character model and all that. So it can't be perfect. But I hope I've explained it decently in this video. Now I'm also considering doing a, a follow up to this if you guys maybe want it. And that is to look at like inverted positioning on windows and stuff, because I get a lot of easy kills on players when I'm inverted at windows because they don't understand, again, the perspective of it and I can just get so many easy kills doing that. So I could do a video on that and use, again, the replay system to show that off. But I don't know if it really has enough content for one video. We'll see, though. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments below and I'll catch you next time.